Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, the weather wars are going to be absolutely crazy. But today we have a team based around, um, that is so funny, based around Doshbun. Wow, I don't even know how to play this one, dude. I think I'm gonna go with my normal lead here. I think it's these four, no matter how you slice it. So I want to bring the Walking Wake just in case Rain ends up winning, winning out. I have something that could thrive in the rain, and then the rest of them. I mean, the rest of the team is based on a Sun team, so I really getting rid of Kyogre is a major priority right now. Major, major priority. So. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, not looking great. I'm just worried if they lead Kyogre, I'm not in a great spot. That's my only issue. So maybe I don't. Let's rethink this real quick. Let's rethink this real quick. I'll bring you and you. This is so risky. Yeah. I really don't like this. That The Kyogre throws off everything, dude. Like, absolutely everything. And I don't even know if I got to the part where I tell you what this team is about. This team is based around, um, well, there's two Pokemon I want to use, right? My first thought process was I want to use uh, Hisuian Typhlosion, because I think it's amazing. Second thought process, I want to use Doshbun. Um, that's kind of how we ended up here. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I kind of have a play. But if they have Kyogre in the back, then things just get weird. I think this is the play. Sorry, when, when, I, when I go silent, just know I'm thinking very hard. If I ever go silent, just know I'm thinking very, very hard. And I think this is the play. Because you can Terra however you want to Terra. Oh, they're going to kill me before I can... I didn't think about that. I'm going to get suckered. Oh, no, I'm not. I'll take it. They should have suckered there. If they suckered there, I'm in bi Oh, let's go! Huge! If they suckered there, I'm done for. Why they didn't sucker, I don't know, but I'll take it. Ruination's interesting. You think if I go Terra Fire, I survive a uh, Sucker Punch? I think I do. That's what I want to do here. I think if I go Terra Fire, I outspeed Zacian, and I think I survive a Sucker Punch, so that thing is burned. You know what's crazy? I was so worried about Kyogre, I didn't even see the items in the beginning. When my uh, Typhlosion used its Frisk. I feel like every time I run Frisk, I never catch the items. I never see them. I'm just busy talking about nonsense or looking in the wrong place. I figured Sucker was coming. I figured I could eat if it's burned. I do eat because of the burn. Let's go. Another plume. Let's go. Why you didn't Sucker the first turn, I don't know. But I will take it. They could have predicted a Terra. They probably thought I was going to defensively Terra turn 1, 
So they went for the safe ruination. That's what it was. If they don't have priority, they are in such a dangerous spot. We win. They already teared. This is a big body win. You're gonna make. Oh my goodness! Please don't quit. Please let me see how much damage this does. Anyways, we're gonna body press the Groudon and Lava Plume. Please don't quit. I really want to see how much damage this does. I feel like they're gonna quit. <clears throat> if they don't quit, oh my! This is. All right. This is beyond Nurse Joy. This is far beyond Nurse Joy. They are both dead. Especially the Decidueye. My goodness. Wow, look at the damage the Groudon and the burn for safety. This team is broken. Wow. And I'm pretty sure that was at least plus five. Groudon had no chance whatsoever. Was that, that, was, that was a sweep, right? Complete and utter sweep. I get what he was trying to do. He was he saw these like okay, I have a Shang Pao, they have a Typhlosion. They're either gonna switch or defensively Terra because the sucker punch is too obvious. But I literally was just oblivious to all of that in the beginning. Because I was so terrified about Kyogre popping out that I just went for a play that would have easily got me killed had he, had he went for the right play. And because of that he lost the game. Um, but I'll take it. I know what he was trying to... He did what he should have done. Because I should have went for a defensive Terra. And, and or switched out. But I went for the defensive Terra on the second turn. Ended up working out and we got the dub. But what a way to display the team in the first battle. Wow. Alright. Um, I'm in shock. We're just going to go ahead and hop into battle number two. I'll come back when we have our second opponent. Alright. We are back with our second opponent. Um, I do see the, uh, the homie over there, the Baxcalibur, which definitely has Thermal Exchange, but I'm not going to let that stop me. So I'm going to go ahead and lead Groudon, lead Typhlosion, you in the back. I also see the Alolan Muck, which is very annoying. Um, who looks good here? Wake looks pretty good, if I can outspeed that, uh, that, uh, what's it called over there? I'm torn between the Wake and the Salazzle right now. Salazzle could be really good, actually. So can Wake, though. That's tough. I do like having Fake Out, though. I'm not gonna lie. Having Fake Out in the back could be very clutch. This is not easy. I think I want to go Wake. Because they won't be able to stop the sun, so... Yeah, I think I go Wake. <clears throat> think we bring the Wake, boys. I love Salazzle, but I haven't used Walking Wake in a while. And I just like the tight matchup a little bit better. I can outspeed and hit the uh, Baxcalibur. Which will be a problem if they decide to lead it. Um, and yeah, just give me some options. Punching Glove. I missed it again! I only saw the Punching Glove. It's not going to change what I'm going to do here, but it's just like, damn. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I don't know where my brain goes when the battle starts. But, uh, okay, Scissor has a Punching Glove. It's interesting. So, I'm going to go for the Lava Plume, because I have no reason not to here. So, yeah. And in the sun, this is gonna hit like a truck. Alright, the Scizor is probably gonna go for a defensive Terra, I would imagine. If that thing has fur coat, it's just gonna die here. So 
So there's a Terra Water Sizzle, which is perfectly fine. It can just get body press next turn. It's gonna fake me out, but I'm just getting in here, so I don't care. Lava Plume is gonna boost up my homie here. And hit the team pretty hard. Nice. Swords Dance is fine, my boy. We are not worried, because I'm gonna get I'm gonna outspeed you. You won't be able to one shot. If it goes in the dosh. Should I go Terra Steel body press? Just in case she has a bullet punch me or something. I mean, I am at plus two. Am I really worried? But he's also at plus two. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Terra Steel body press you and Lava Plume again. Yeah, you're not about to bullet punch me, my boy. At least not for no good damage. No siree, Bob! Go ahead and bullet punch me. I dare you. I dare you. Predictable! Come on, my boy. Y'all boys forget I be out here doing this. This looks like another sweep to me. This is looking like another sweep to me, my boy. Because he's not taking this body press. I'll tell you that much. Goodbye. Crit for safety. We did not need it. Are we going to get another sweep in the chat, bro? This team is disgusting. It's looking like another sweep, baby. What a disgusting team. My goodness. And the fact that Typhlosion is part ghost so you can't fake him out is just a... Mwah. Chef's kiss. Literally the cherry on top. So I'm not going to change my strategy at all here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the Max Caliber get the uh, the boost. I'm going to body press it and kill it. I'm not changing a damn thing. Because they can't do anything. They cannot do anything to stop me. It's going to get the Thermal Exchange, but I don't really care. Wait, it's Ice Body or something? Wow. I'm surprised. Are they dumb? They really got to be dumb. You've literally seen me... Lava blooming into my own dash on all battle. And your first thought is flamethrower. Alright, so another easy victory. I'm at plus six, right? I just want to see it. That's absolutely disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. So we're safe to body press and lava plume again. Uh, because there's nothing they can do. And battle's canceled. So that is an easy two sweeps in a row. Two sweeps in a row. This team is broken. They should have brought Kyogre in that first game. I had a plan for it. Obviously with the Groudon in the back, but... You bring that Kyogre, you at least make it a bit more difficult. This guy really didn't have much of a chance. His lead already put him at a, ter at, at a disadvantage. Yeah, he had the Terra Water, but you can't eat my body press. So what are you going to do? You know what I mean? So this team is just absolutely disgusting. Like, I'm just having so much fun right now. We're going to go ahead and jump into our third battle. I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back against some guy named Flappo. And uh, his team is looking scary, my boy. I'm not going to lie. But um, we don't care. We're going to go for the same core here. The, the Draco is a little scary. I'm not going to lie. The Reggie Draco is a wee bit scary. So if they lead that, I'm in trouble. But if I switch into Dosh Bun, they can't touch me. So actually, no, I don't care. Yeah, I really don't care. Because Typhlosion might go down. And I'll out I should outspeed as well. I should outspeed. So yeah, Typhlosion... Might go down. But Dosh Bun won't care. At the end of the day. Um... I don't mind the wake at all. Wake could be huge, actually. I do like wake. And then because I see NDD, I'm like on the fence about bringing this thing. Plus, they have the, the what's it called as well. I think we just do that. Oh. I already have four. I'm tripping. I was really going to go for a fifth. <laughs> but I think I'm, I think I'm cool with, the, with the, the five I have. The four I have. I don't know why my brain is dead set on bringing five mods. Uh, 
Alright. Let's try and get another dub, boys. This, I think this will be the hardest battle so far. I really do. That's my, um... Just based off the team composition, I think this will be the hardest battle so far. This is okay. This is definitely okay. I'm totally fine with this. Mental herb and eject button. Okay. I think I was going to go full send, actually. I think I just go full send. I really do. Because, um... I don't care about Heatran. Yeah, I'm going full send. I'm going full send. So you're going to switch out for you. And over here, Terra Fire Lava Plume. Full send. You can switch out into Heatran. I don't care. He can catch a Body Press the very next turn. He can catch a Body Press the very next turn. Looking good, boys. Huge damage. I'm surprised they took it so well, but I'll take it. They took it better than I thought they would, especially the NDD. Cresselia, I'm not too surprised with the NDD. I'm like, whoa, you took that very well. Trick Room is a wee bit unfortunate. Nothing really wants to catch a facade, to be honest. I don't want to sack anything either. Ay, ay, ay. This is tough. I think I'll sack Groudon. Maybe I should have brought out the wake. I don't know. Nice. So now what's your plan? <clears throat> we'll see what their plan is now. They're gonna tear him. Good play! I can't even get mad at this. I do eat that. There's a Lunar. Good play going for the uh, Terra Ghost. Good play. Alright, that turn he did leave Groudon alone though, which is interesting. Uh, they could ally switch again. Let's try this up. 
I think we both go down here, unfortunately. Dosh, Dosh Bone's a beast. But we are going to go down here, unfortunately. Uh, Shirk Room's unfortunate. How many more turns Shirk Room do they have? One? It'd be nice if it ended here, but I know it doesn't. Yeah, we just lose here. He's gonna EQ. That's the only thing that makes this like, ugh. One more turn of Trick Room, dude. If we had a way to survive this turn, we would just eat the rest of their team. So I'll one shot Cresselia right now, but they're gonna outspeed. And I have no way of surviving an earthquake. I guess I could try. Uh, I'll lock myself into Internal par Parade. Infernal Parade. And I will Hydro Steam, I guess. They should win here unless they make a massive mistake somehow. Is this a massive mistake? What are they doing? I'm not sure that was the play, home skillet. Wowzers. Okay. So this is a turn of events. Let's see how the rest of the battle goes. Why, why did? Why would you do that? All you have to do is EQ. Because now, now you're in trouble. Now you're in a little bit of trouble, my boy. I'm very curious to why they the why they did that. I don't know how much more sun I have. I think like one or two more turns. They're taking their sweet time here. Come on. You made your bed, now lay in it. You should have EQ'd. You should have EQ'd. Alright, it's in DD. Ah, oh, it's gonna redirect. It's gonna redirect. And I'm locked into that uh, stupid move. Crap. See, now they might still win. It's gonna redirect. Yep. So we take out NDD here, but I think we lose. We lose our homies here. Right, he goes right after Wake, it does one shot. I think we lose here regardless. I could try and predict a protect, but it really depends on if this last Pokemon's even remotely weak to, uh, oh, I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm locked into this. I'm gonna try and read the protect on the, uh... Oh, they don't protect, so yeah, that's GG's. That is GG's, unfortunately. That man lost health, and the dragon energy still took me out. That's impressive. Alright, so the Trick Room was our downfall, but we got two in a row, and we all, I feel like, uh, that was a close one, man, that was a close one, but GG's my opponent, I think they just, they just outplayed me, they knew what I wanted to do, they knew if they can get a Trick Room up, they have a huge advantage, and that they did, they could have won the battle earlier, which is why I'm not too salty. They ended up winning it anyways. Um, but I do want to go for a fourth and final battle. I'm just having a lot of... Even in that last battle, I'm just having a lot of fun with this team. Um, so yeah, let's go for one more and see if we can go 3-1 on today's video.
All right, so we are back for our fourth and final battle here. And we have a very interesting team. Um, I have no issue going for the normal kind of combo here. Um, I want to bring the Lilligan. One, because I really want to use it. <laughs> and two, because Iron Bundle looks incredibly annoying. So let's see what we can get popping out here. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. It's too early to Terra, so I'm just gonna Lava Plume here. Yeah, let's keep it simple. Return one. Lava Plume switch. If we can get a burn on the T-Tar, that'd be sick. Lava Plume, cool thing about it, it uh, hits all Pokemon on the field. And it also has a 30% chance to burn. So it's, a, it's like a... It's quite literally a fire discharge. And I'm just realizing that. And both moves have been in the game. The Pokemon games for generations. Wow. Wow! Bundle is gone! That is gorgeous. That is beautiful. Can I get a burn on the dude here? No burn. Earth power is gonna hurt. But I eat it. But I eat it, no! Okay! Here we go! This is... When we can get a, a good turn one like this, and this is where it gets, like, things start to fall over for the opponent. This is where the dominoes start to fall, and we start to get some dubs out here. So I'm gonna go for another... What's it called? Greninja's a wee bit scary, but we're in the sun. Okay, I was like, it's not looking too sunny right now. It's looking real shady, actually. But we are in the sun. So I'm locked in the Lob Plumer, go for that again. And then I guess I just start body pressing stuff. Um, I can see this thing going for a Terra, potentially. I'm also not really worried about it. So I'm gonna go for the body press over here. So it's gonna water Shuriken, but in the sun, it's not gonna be doing much of anything. Yeah, so I think that was five. It was five hits, but because we're in the sun, it really didn't do anything. That is sick, bro. That is sick, bro. I love this team, man. So cool. They do take out my Typhlosion, but... He has already done his job, man. He's got the bur and I know, I know it's using Earth Power, but I know it has physical moves. When it came out here, its attack got boosted. Unless its attack is really that high and it's like modest and it still gets the attack boost, which would be funny. But why would you run the no? Because he ran a booster. He specifically has booster energy attack, so that wouldn't make sense. So he does have attacking moves, so that we just haven't seen yet. So yeah. Really happy about that. I do get to bring out the Lilligan now, and I'm really happy about this. Unfortunately, it is a Talon Flame that comes out. I'm just gonna Solar Blade. Body Press? They could have went for the Brave Bird. I wonder why they didn't. Brave Bird would have just killed me. Unless they're not carrying Brave Bird, it'll be weird. They went for a Hurricane in the Sun. It's a special Talon Flame. Wow. 
I mean, I'm locked into Solar Blade, so I'm just gonna go full send. But I think they're gonna quit here. Oh, they're gonna stay in. Alright, well. I'm locked into Solar Blade. I'm already out here. I know it's four times resisted, but hey. Hey! We still go send it, alright? I got the Choice Band on me. I think this, this is a chance to KO. I know it's four. Yeah, this thing, this thing is gone, I think. Terra Grass, Adamant, Solar Blade with a Choice Band. I think this thing is gone. Yeah. Talon Flame taken out by a Grass move. Where else are you getting this kind of content, baby? That is three and one. It's taken everything within me not to go for a fifth battle. But I'm not trying to make this video like 18 years long. So we are going to end it here. You guys see what this team is capable of? Wow. And I guess he quit. Did he turn his switch off before we got to the home screen? I think he did. So we got a little rage quit there. Um, that was funny. Yeah, because my internet's fine. Yeah, so he, he quit after the battle was over. That's a first. But um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the content. 3 and 1 today. Absolutely had a blast using this team. Um, if you guys enjoy the content, I do this several times a week. Drop a like, drop a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I wish you guys would comment more. Um, drop a comment, drop a sub. Subs mean the absolute world to me. Currently sitting at 40. Uh, next uh, milestone is 50, man. I'm going to do something crazy for our 50th uh, our, uh, subscriber. Not sure what that is yet, but just know it will be sick. Uh, I do want to start some ranked battles. I'm definitely not going to do any ranked battles until we at least hit 50 subs. Um, so maybe once we hit 50, I'll start ranked. Maybe I'll wait till 100. Not sure. But either way, the content's going to keep coming. So if you want to see it, drop a sub, drop a like, drop a comment. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Appreciate y'all, man. Peace.